All right, welcome back everyone. Um, so part four of our um, farm game. Um, basically in today's episode, we're going to be doing, um, we're going to add our save system and a few other things. So let's pop right into it. So we're going to create a global folder. And as you might be able to tell, this will contain all our global variables. And I'm going to create a script called this game. I'm going to go into global, duplicate it, and call this one utils. I'm going to go into game and I'm just going to create one variable called, I don't know, uh, current day. All right, we'll do, um, uh, yeah, current day equals, uh, no, we're not going to make it equal to anything. We're just going to say current day. And then in our utils, I'm going to just move this to the top. We're going to delete all this. And what we're going to do is, let me just pull up my reference here. Here we go. Um, I'm going to copy paste a few lines. So that way we can kind of get through this a bit quicker. Um, if you want a full explanation of what I'm doing, um, this is, I've done this before in one in my other series for my Necromancer series. You can go check it out. It's called Save and Load. Um, but I'll, I'll still explain what we're doing here. So essentially what we're going to do is we have the get file function and sorry, one sec, let me just change these. All right, so what we have is the get file function. In this function, we're going to pass through a Boolean called is right. So if it's true, what we're going to, okay, so assume it's true for now, right? First thing we do is we create a new file, right? Called save game. We're going to create a new password um, called password, save password, right? So that's our password right there, right? Um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check if we're on Android or if we're on iOS. If we are, then we're gonna change our password to the get unique ID. Um, yeah, and next thing we're gonna do, now we check if, if is right is true. So if it is true, what we're going to do is write in the file. If it's false, we're going to read the file. So essentially this is save and this is load, right? So read versus write, right? Um, if the file we're trying to open doesn't exist, then we'll just return. So that way we don't get an error. Um, next thing we're going to do is, as you can see, we have an error here. What this is, is we have to auto load our game, our global variable. So we're going to actually auto load both of them. So we have game. We're also going to auto load utils. I'm going to add both of them and this should go away. If it doesn't, that's okay. Um, you can kind of just reload the game, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I'm also going to, oh, there it is, there it's gone. I'm also going to copy paste this. So now we have um, our load and save function. So what's happening here is we have the save, so create a file. We get the file, right? So we get this file, we're going to read it, and then we're going to get data, and we're going to create a dictionary. So you can have anything into our file, but we're going to load a dictionary into it, or not load, uh, save a file into it, right? We're going to get our save game, which is our new file, and we're going to store that line, the data, right? So it's going to store each line as a JSON uh, line. So it's going to get each line and store it. And then we're going to close that file. So this is a very important step. If you don't close it, it'll error and it might not even work. And then load, same thing. We're going to get our save file as get file false because we're reading it this time. We're going to just check if it's empty. And if it is, we just return. Um, and then while uh, the end of our file has not been reached, that's what this means, end of file, reached, we're going to keep loading. So current line parse JSON, we're going to get our first line of JSON um, right there, save, save game dot get line, and then we're going to load it. So we're going to get our game dot current day and then load it as the current line of current day, right? Which is this one right there. And then we're going to close that file and that's it. So our, our save and load function is relatively simple. Um, and we have current day. However, there is nothing in current day. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to actually want to um, give it a thing, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to get started on our UI. And generally, when I do UI, I like to do on, on a canvas layer. Um, there's many reasons for this, but basically, it just helps us draw on top of whatever's there. So it, it's a good UI function. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to uh, I already have it. So I'm going to put it in our player function or folder, sorry. And then in here, I'm going to have a label. And this is going to be our day 
our date label. I'm going to put it on the top right. And um, in here, I'm going to just have a built-in script. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the process function. And I'm going to do self, uh, self dot text equals os dot get date time. I think I have to convert it to a string. Yeah, there we go. And hopefully that works. Let's give it a try. That did not work because I don't have my UI yet. OK, there we go. There's our UI. Um, I'm going to move it to the left a bit. Let's try one more time. OK, I'm going to move it way to the left a little bit more. Awesome. We have like everything that we need. Um, I'm actually going to just go into here. I'm going to auto wrap, and I'm going to center everything. All right, let's reload it. All right, there we go. So as you can see, we have the day, we have the DST, we have the hour, we have time, month, second, weekday, and we have the year, right? Um, so there's a few things we could get. Um, it depends on what you want, right? So because this is a dictionary, what we can do is we can do os.get oh, get date time dot, no, oh, is it like this? Zero, let me check. Nope, that is not how you do it. Dot one, let's try that. Nope, that is not how we access a dictionary. Um, two, two, two. Let me just figure this out real quick. All right, um, so I've kind of figured it out. Um, I was close. Uh, the only thing is in our dictionary, we didn't have, um, what I was doing before was I was kind of doing like that. Um, however, in our dictionary, we have, so here's our dictionary on the bottom. I printed it out. We have day, DST, hour, minute, uh, month, second, weekday, year. Those are the things that we can refer to, right? So I can do year, I can do day, I can do DST, I can do hour. Um, however, I can't do a number like zero. That doesn't exist. Um, so we're going to, what I've done here, by the way, is I've just put date as a variable. Um, Next thing I'm going to actually do is I'm going to do game dot current day equals date day. So now we set our current day to the current day, right? So now we can save that. Um, in our date here, what we're going to do is we're going to print day, and then we're also going to print. Um, no, I'll actually just copy paste that. We're going to print our What's after day? Hour. Let's do hour. Actually, no. Sorry. Let's do um, minute, and then we'll also do hour instead. So like hour, and then in between here we'll have this guy, and then we'll also have another string in the middle or in the beginning that will say time. Now, if we launch it, what we'll have is a timer that says time. 1050, which is true. Um, you can't see on the bottom. Let me see if I can just hide my face real quick. We can't see the time. Um, but on my computer, it is 1051. Um, and yeah, so you can print anything you want. Uh, this is how we kind of use get, get date time. There's the dictionary, and we can access anything inside that dictionary. Um, OS has a lot of very cool functions inside of it. Um, I very much recommend you check it out. Um, in our, in the, let me pull it up quick. So in the GD, um, what do you call it? Documents, there's a bunch of very cool functions here that you can find. So for example, we have get uh, date, right? That's one of them. There's get date time. This one will give us year, month, whatever, whatever, right? So there's a lot of cool things. It also explains what each one does. Um, so there's a lot of really good stuff. So you can kind of go through it. And I would recommend you actually go through it and kind of take a look at some of them. Um, there's a lot of really useful ones that you could actually use, um, like date, get date time, obviously. Um, we're going to use that later on. But yeah, um, I'll leave that for now, though. So all right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to check if our save file works. So I guess I'm going to do actually is I'm going to add the UI to our world. So we have it there. 
Um, so now if I launch our game, it should always, our time should follow us no matter how I move. Um, and then I'm going to go into our player. Yeah, for now, I'll go into my player. I'll go into the player.dgd. And every time I input, I'll do um, utils.save. And then every time I load the main menu, oh, function dot ready, I'll do utils dot uh, load game. And the first time we do it, it should error or not. Awesome. Um, nothing happened. We're going to go again. And then if I start moving, it should have saved the date. So now what we're going to do is we're going to print game dot um, what is it called? Current date. So now it should have printed the time that I had before, which was 10.53, or no, just 10. It should just print 10 because I only uh, saved the day. So that's not right. What's going on? Go back to UI. Is equal to day. Ah, that's why I'm saving the day. <laughs> Very funny. Um, Okay, there we go, current day. And the current day is 17, so that's right. Um, and yeah, all right, so our save system is working. Later on, what we can do, instead of day, actually, we'll do current date. We'll go back to utils, to change that everywhere. So every time you change a variable, though, in the globals, you are going to have to change it everywhere. So current date, hopefully now I don't get any errors. I'm going to get an error because Current date doesn't exist. Um, if but if I, what if you ever get this error, usually what I do is I just save and then load right again. Um, and this is happening because you're introducing a new different variable in your dictionary. All right, there we go. So right now it's null because there's nothing saved. Um, let's move, and it should have saved our current date. Okay, it did not. Um, oh, it must be because I'm saving it as a dictionary. That's why. Um, but that's okay for now. All we know is that it works. Um, so next video, we're going to look into farming an actual plant. So we'll use this variable to essentially help us plant something and then have it grow over time, right? So we'll get into that next video, I think. Um, and I will see you guys then. Goodbye.